Hello, welcome to In Your Element TV Conversations with Goldie. Hi, Goldie. Hi, Liliana. Today we have Goldie here to talk about Christmas. And we have had some uh, interesting questions from the members of our tribe uh, querying about this Christmas and what to do with their families and especially with their children. Now, Goldie is our conscious parenting specialist here at In Your Element TV and she's here to tell you all about it and we have, I have some questions and some interesting, uh, you know, points that we're going to be talking about. So let's start. So Goldie, tell me, this is all about having a joyful Christmas with your family. So I would like to ask Goldie, uh, so what can, what do you suggest that families do, uh, especially well, for, from a family who is struggling financially? What suggestions do you have? So I would suggest um, those families who are um, struggling financially is to, um, one thing to do is not to take out loans and all that kind of stuff for this Christmas, but also to um, get creative. So the first thing, first step I would suggest is to and maybe for this Christmas it's just to have one big gift for all your children to share. Um, so buying one present, like knowing what your child likes, what they what same what they all need or what they all like together and buying one gift. So I know from my own mm. personal experience, <laughs> well my mum bought us one gift to share and for one Christmas it was a PlayStation and we all loved it and it you know, we all had to share and take turns with using the PlayStation as well. So just having that one gift. Oh, I have to stop you there because honestly, one gift for many siblings, your sisters, brothers? All sisters. All sisters. Yes. Well, I must say that Goldie, your family and your sisters, you have to get, you know, you got along really well. I bet they did because honestly, I mean, I go along with my siblings, but I know some families will have to struggle with that. But would you say that that's a good way to have children coming together, teaching them to share? and also, you know, promoting peace, I suppose, within yes, the family. I would definitely suggest that. I would suggest that it's a good time to um, get that bonding time with your siblings. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. How did it go for you? Like, let me no, it was good. Really we, we got on well. We took turns. We had, our, our, we had two players and um, we had, um, sometimes we have like times of like, yeah. maybe like an hour for each, each of us to have a turn. So we did take turns and we did share, so. And tell That's me, fun. did you organise it yourselves or did your mum have to get involved? Oh, no, 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 no. She was getting, she was not getting involved. <laughs> she I was definitely that. not getting involved. We had to sort out between ourselves. <laughs> And that's good. So tell me, and what, what was your main point? What, what did you find that you and your sisters did? I mean, I find this, I'm sorry, but I find this fascinating <laughs> because honestly, I think a, a lot of siblings really don't go along and they can't share and, you know, personalities and everything. So I'm really interested in knowing. So tell us, our audience, how, how did it work for you? Like, you know, what was the main point? The main point was obviously communicating with each other nice. and um, take, as I said before, sharing, taking turns and not to try and get into conflict and parents are not involved so that's how it worked for myself and my siblings so yeah so i hope that helps yeah, for so you and your good. children as well so good. yeah so children do grow up a little bit with this learning to manage their own relationships so goldie you know um what creative ideas do you have for our uh, collective and for our, uh, for our members because a lot of people asking uh, they send questions saying that you know uh, facing our current situations um, how, what do you suggest so to keep, you know, um, to keep parents out of anxiety uh, in terms of buying gifts and, you know, and, and how to keep it actually quite happy and joyful this Christmas, but without the stresses of the financial side? Another thing um, would be to um, make your own gifts for your child. Um, get creative, think about what they like and what they would like um, a value and appreciate as well. Um, another thing that I want to suggest is to do, which is my favourite, um, is to do Secret Santa. So they have one, everyone has, you know, as many of you may or may not know, Secret Santa is when you all have your names in a hat and then you all take um, a name each and you all have a budget, so maybe 20, 30, 40 pounds each to buy a gift and it saves the, it's one, it's fun, two, it's um, you know, you have that budget, you know what that might, person may like. You can give little, you know, nudges and hints of what that person might like by not telling them at the same time. And also, um, 
Yeah, it's, yeah, it's fun. Do, would you say that, I, I, sorry, I have to interrupt here because <laughs> personally, I love Secret Santa. I love Secret Santa. I think I'm so glad that you actually mentioned it because I think it's the perfect way to spend Christmas because I don't know about you, but for me, it's all about family and, and food and, and sitting on a table and being together and, and playing, you know, and, and like you said, you know, sharing and, and, and playing and be together. So Secret Santa for me is always uh, uh, a good a good uh, option, you know, to, to think. I mean, I don't know about you, but um, I think earlier on when we were, when we were talking, mm. you know, I kind of remembered, you know, um, like playing games and kind of like, a, you know, pasta pass kind of thing, you know, that kind of <laughs> 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 so, What's your experience? I'm curious to know. So tell me, what's your experience? For my own personal experience yes, from yes. Christmas? Secret Santa. Oh, Secret, Secret Santa. Santa. Oh, yeah. Ah. FYI, guys, make sure you don't write your name or get, get someone else to do the handwriting on the card so people don't know who the Secret Santa is. So Ooh, what happened? Some... <laughs> people knew from my handwriting. That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> so someone spotted your hand right Yes, I knew it was oh mine. Oh my god, that was yeah. amazing. So, just, just to let you both know, do, um, what's the word? Do, uh, get someone else to type the cards. Ooh, thank you for the bad news. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, moving on, guys. I think, you know, we're having a lovely conversation here, but moving on, I would like to know. Uh, last but not least, what could we do collectively, like to, especially teaching children, you know, in these days, you know, we want to also have something community or collectively, you know, that, that children can also involve in the, the whole family uh, can get together. So do you have any ideas or, or tips or, or what do you think about it? Yeah, sure. Um, what I suggest is to maybe find out what's happening in your local community. Maybe it's like after Christmas, maybe it's something like Boxing Day and um, find out what's happening in your local community. Maybe you want to take your um, family all together to do something like maybe your community is having a something to help other, other families or maybe they're having a, a craft fair or anything like that. Do that together collectively and to unite your family together. I also wanted to mention as well, um, like making memories is really important with your children during, this, during those times as well. It's not about the presents, it's having that family time together with all the food and maybe you want to play games with each other. Um, I know from my personal experience we love to play Monopoly uh, or other different games as well. Maybe you want to get creative and make like make um, Christmas decorations together, uh, or bake cakes, do Christmas, Christmas biscuits, or maybe you want to do um, Christmas decorations together as well. So being together, unite as a family, because it's all about making memories during these times as well. Because your children will, your children will remember those will remember the memories for a very long time. Well, definitely we will remember you and we make good memories today, I hope. So I just would like to say thank you very much, Goldie, for joining us and for this lovely conversation. And I hope you have had some good tips and you will be able to have a joyful Christmas. So if you have any questions, please send them to uh, the email that you will be seeing on the screen. Check our social media, like, subscribe, notify, so you will never miss some of our content in our next guest. So we'll say goodbye for now. Thank you, Goldie. Thanks, Bye, everyone. and see you next time. Bye, everyone. Bye.